everybody, you've got Sammy here and today we're going to be completing the six pointed star granny square as part of our 365 granny square a day crochet along project. So I've done a chain of six slip stitch together to form a ring. I've done a chain of one which does not count as a stitch. And I'm just popping in a single crochet and a chain of three. Single crochet and a chain of three. I'm going to continue repeating the single crochet chain of three stitch pattern uh, until we have 12. 12 single crochet and 12 chain three spaces. So 12 little loops around our ring. I'll meet you back here for round two. We've got 12 single crochet, 12 little chain three spaces. Just going to slip stitch from our joining point into the first single crochet, uh, from the first single crochet into the chain space. And chain one, single crochet into the same chain space. Chain three, Single crochet into the next chain space. Oops, sorry. Forget that the slightest movement when you zoomed in is really exaggerated on camera. Single crochet into the next chain space. So we're going to continue that all the way around. Chain three and a single crochet into the each chain space. When we get back to where we started, rather than doing a chain of three, we're going to do a chain of one and a half double crochet into the beginning single crochet to finish off this round. I'll meet you back here ready for round three. Okay, round two is completed. Uh, so once again, we have 12 um, single crochet and 12 chain spaces if we include that last half double crochet as a chain space. So from here we're going to chain one we're going to single crochet into the space created by the half double crochet of round two chain six I'm just gonna zoom out because I think it'll be a bit more easy to see Four, five, six. single crochet into the next chain space chain three single crochet into the next chain space, chain six, four, five, six, single crochet into the next chain space, and again, chain three. And single crochet into the next chain space. Now we're going to continue that pattern. Chain six with a single crochet into the next. And then a chain three with a single crochet into the next. Now on the last one, when we're getting ready to join back into the first single crochet, we're going to do a chain one and a half double crochet again. It just helps it sit a little bit nicer and keeps those petals nice and distinct. I'm going to meet you back here, ready for round four. Okay. Round three is completed. We've got six chain six spaces and six chain three spaces. 
So we're ready for round four. I'm going to do a chain of one, which counts as nothing, and a single crochet back into the space created by that half double crochet that we used to finish the round. Now we're going to repeat this pattern six times. So working into the chain six space, we're going to do five double crochet. Chain two and another five double crochet into the same chain six space. Oops, there's number five. You can see we've made a nice point there with the chain two in the center. We're gonna pop a single crochet into the chain three space and repeat again. So chain six space, five double crochet, a chain of two and another five. We're gonna repeat that pattern all the way back to the beginning where we'll finish with a slip stitch into the beginning single crochet. I'm going to be changing colours at the end of this round. If you want to, that's entirely up to you, but I'll meet you back here ready for round five. Okay, lovelies, we're back ready for round five. So you can see I've finished the six points uh, for round four. Looking gorgeous. I've joined my second colour in with a slip stitch into a chain two space. Anyone is fine. I'm going to pop a single crochet into the same chain two space, a chain six, four, five, six, and then I'm going to pop a treble crochet into the single crochet from the previous round. Chain six, two, three, four, five, six, and then pop a single crochet into the chain two space. So we're going to repeat that pattern all the way back around where we'll slip stitch to the beginning single crochet. We'll have a nice ring of chains between our points with treble crochets into the single crochets from the previous round. I'll see you back here, ready for round okay, six. Okay, lovelies, we're back. We've finished our chains um, between each point and our treble crochet. Ready to start filling in and turning this gorgeous star into a square. So I'm just going to slip stitch twice into the chain space. I can get my fingers to work. I'm going to chain three, which will count as a double crochet. Then I'm going to pop two double crochet into the chain space. One. And two. Chain two. Three double crochet into the next chain space. One, two, three, chain two. Now we're going to create our first corner. So we're going to pop three double crochet into the next chain space. One. 
is three, chain three, and pop another three, double crochet into the same space. Chain two and three double crochet into the next chain space. So we're going to repeat that exact pattern all the way back to the beginning. We'll be omitting that last set of uh, three double crochet on the last round because we've already got them at our starting point. Finishing off with a slip stitch to the beginning chain three, and I'll be finishing off with this color at the end of this round and changing to another. If you want to follow along with the video, go back around two minutes and 50 seconds, and I'll see you back here ready for round seven. Okay, we're starting to look square and back for our final round. So I've joined uh, my third color in with a slip stitch into the same stitch we finished in. Just going to chain one doesn't count as anything and pop a single crochet into the same stitch and a single crochet into the next two stitches one and two now we're at the chain two space so we're going to pop two single crochet into the chain two space one, two, and one and two, each of the next three double crochet. Now, if your square's looking a little bit undersized, you could of course replace these with a half double crochet, or instead of making this your last round, just do another round or two or four or whatever you need to get it to the size that you've been working with. Uh, chain two space, so two single crochet in there, one, two, one into each of the next double crochet. Like most of our squares, final round, nice and simple. Just to finish squaring up, this one is a bit lacy, so it'll help firm it up as well and get it ready for joining. Now in the corner space, we're going to pop two single crochet One, two, chain of two, and another two single crochet. And now we're going to continue with a single crochet into each stitch all the way back to our starting point. Really is a gorgeous little star, a little florally, but I do love the points. I hope you've all enjoyed hooking this one up as much as I have. Until next time, have a fabulous day and happy hooking.